go. Okay, right. So today we're going to be looking at chapter six, looking at the chapter six basic skills, changing fractions into percentages. So I've written, I've handwritten the questions out, and we're going to be practicing how to change these fractions into percentages. And I actually wanted to use two different methods. The first method that we're going to use on this side is a method that uh, Minel is familiar with, and that's called the equivalent fraction. E equivalent fractions method. So now, if you want to change something into a percentage, a percentage means out of one hundred. Out of one hundred. So if we can change the fraction that we start with into a fraction equivalent to a hundred, we should be able to read off the top value as the percentage. So we're gonna start over here. So what do you multiply 10 by to give me 100 in the bottom, Minel? 10. And what we do on the bottom, we must repeat it on the? Top. Top to keep the, the fraction balanced, top and bottom. So the question says here, I'll just go over the one, one tenth. So what's one time by 10? 10. 10. So now you got the uh, 10 over 100. Remember, any fraction over 100, the top number is the percentage. I remember this. Okay, so Minil, what is the percentage? 10%. Yes, the top number is the actual answer. So we can say here that's equivalent to 10%. We view. Okay, okay. So 10 over 100 goes and becomes 10%. Sure. Fantastic. Okay, lovely. Right, let's pick another question for, let's have Aisha this time. Aisha, question number four. We want to change number four. Let's have a go at number four. So we got three over 25. I want to change it, change them, make them equivalent to hundredths. So we've got to start from the bottom. And what we do on the bottom, we got to do on the top. So what we do on the bottom? One minute. Um, tw 25, so you times it by four. So 25, you times it by four, top and bottom. What's three times by four? And 12, the answer is 12. So the answer is the top number. We drag it off the side and we say it is 12%. Done. Okay. So we can put an equal sign as well as equal to, equivalent to 12%. So 12 over 100 is the same as 12%. Okay, right, let's do one more question. Question number six. Uh, let's go to, back to Minel, please. Question number six. Well, question eight, number six, you number have to- Eight over 200, and we wanna change 200 into 100. So you have to divide it by... Oh, um, now we have to divide it by two. Excellent. And what we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So what's the answer on top? Uh, four. Four. So we say the answer is equal or equivalent to... Four percent. Four percent. Now that's the called equivalent. But sometimes we're not able to change the numbers into 100 because the number isn't a multiple, so it isn't a factor of 100. Like 10 is a factor of 100, 25 is a factor of 100, and 200 is the multiple of 100, so we have to go the opposite. But sometimes the numbers don't work, so we have to use another method. It's called multiplying by 100 over one. But for the moment, I think all these fractions here have been chosen to work. So I want everybody in the class to have a go some questions while I pause the video. Okay, now, so we've got the answers for the 6B. So they're all there. Lovely, nice and straightforward, making everything equivalent to a out of hundredths. And the read the top number of the answer. Now, on this second page here, what I'd like you to do is show you an alternative method. I call this the old school method for working out fractions, where you multiply any fraction by 100 over 1. And let's see how we get on with that. So, Minel, Minel can you join me, please? So, to change any fraction into percentage, we multiply it by 100 over 1. But then we need to do take in consideration that it's a fraction question and how we deal with fractions. So we can, for example, like cancel diagonally like this, or we can cancel uh, vertically, for example, like this. 
So we can count them in those different directions. So let me just take off some of those. Now, okay, let me actually take off that one as well. So mineral, if you, I can see the 110 can be canceled. Uh, do you agree with me? We can cancel the 10 and 100? Yeah. Okay. Cancel by 10. So 110, cancel means what? Um, divided by. Okay, so if we divide it by 10, what do we get? A 1 and 10. That's right, so it'll be 3 times by 10 left over on the top. Once yes. you finish cancelling diagonally, then you multiply out the top numbers and then you multiply out the bottom numbers. So the final answer will be? 30. 30 percent. Okay, now the next question here has got 30 over 100. If we time that by 100 over 1, what can we do with the... You can cancel 100 and 100 by 100. By so dividing them both by 100, then we get 30 times by 1 on the top. So you multiply 30. at the top, then you multiply at the bottom. So the final answer is? 30%. Okay, do one more for me, please. And then I'll pick somebody. So we've got 8 over 20. We're going to times it by 100. Can we cancel? Yes, 20 and 100. So we can cancel this diagonal here. Good. And what can we cancel them by? 20. By 20. 20 divided by 20 is 1 and 100 divided by 20 is? 5. 5. So now we multiply out the top numbers. So we've got 8 times by 5, which is? The 40. And 1 times by 1 is 1 and uh, 40 divided by 1 is still? 40. 40. So we don't need to change that. Okay, let's do one or two more questions with slightly different ones and let's see how we, then we can let the students lose some of the questions. Okay. So what can we cancel here? You can cancel 125. So what will cancel? Divide them by what? 25. So divide that by 25 gives you 1 and divide that by 25 gives you? 4. 4. So you're left with 8 times by 4 on the top and? 1 times by 1, that's 1, so you don't need that. So 32 is the answer. 32. Okay, lovely. So we've done those couple of questions now as an example on what we're supposed to be doing. We cancel and cancel until you can't cancel anymore. And we've got 30%, 30%, 40%, and 32%. Okay, I need the rest of the page done. I'm going to give you... Okay, so if you want to work out three quarters, so we multiply it. Oops, so let's get the black color is not too nice. Let's get a red one to divide times it by 100 over 1. So, what we do here, we look at, we try to cancel the 4 and the 100. So, Minal, what can the 4 and the 100 cancel by? 25. 20, so, no, not 25. You divide them by 4. The answer is 25. Yeah. So, so, we have now on the top. Uh, 3 times by 25, which is 75, and 1 times by 1 is 1. So the answer mm -hmm. is 75. Okay, so them are the answers for that page, and that's going to be the end of this video. And that will be hopefully all uploaded for everybody.